All right, let's go through the same process now. Um, you know, same part, create a design table. But this time, let's go just do a, a blank source. It's very similar, um, all the same parameters. Now hit check mark and wait. Oh, this time actually my Excel file opened in the background. But ooh, this allows me to, I can make it shorter. Yay. I actually put this um, somewhere you can actually see it. So um, yeah, this is actually what it looked like the first time with the auto create. Uh, there's nothing there. Here, uh, when you go for the blank option, you have to uh, populate the, um, I guess, the spreadsheet yourself. So notice how the A2, this would be the family section. It has a area here. This will be your first dimension or your feature and, and going along this way. Now, um, this gives you options of default. It's going to say the first instance. I want the default configuration. And let's say I'm going to go the same as the previous one. I want length and width of the sketch. And you could select show the unselected items again. So every time um, you uh, go to re, uh, you know, populate or edit, it'll it'll pop up, you know, the parameters of the things you have not selected yet. So I hit OK. Let me grab this. See, it populated those two, but now I'm st it's still editable. <laughs> editable, editable. Yeah, I can't eat the uh, I think it's editable because um, it's uh, the blank. So this is still selected. So if I wanted to, let's say, add dimension of depth, just come over here, hit hit the depth dimension, and it added that in. I can go in, uh, let's say, I already have width. Let's say the uh, whole location. Let's say the whole location. I, I want that. Another one. Select that. And as I go through, it added the whole location also. And it added the default. Uh, so the default is the original one. Uh, one thing you can do, let's say, uh, let me. Control X, Control V, you can cut and paste. I'm going to delete this row. Now I have default instance, first instance. Uh, let me re rename that as, uh, let's go long again. I'm just going to go short. I rename that uh, long, and you can just populate what you want for your dimensional values. I say if I want the width to stay the same, just drag down width. Um, the depth, let's say I wanted the short one to be skinnier. Oh, or actually depth, uh, yeah, depth of boss, let's say it was 25, let's say I wanted it to be 15. And let's say the, um, the long one, I actually want it to be thicker, 50. And default is 25. Full center location is 40 on default. Oops. Cancel. I forgot, actually it's already there. Um, when you hit save, you reopen it, they would already populate it. Um, say for the long, uh, let's, let's make it 50, and for the short, let's make it 30. Hit control S. Control S. It created the two configurations, long and short. Rebuild and save the document. Now come over here to your configurations. See, I have the default. I can double click on long. It got fat and long. <laughs> I can double click on short. It got short and the hole got closer. So this is how you can create one from a blank by using the blank source and just populate it yourself. Um, both ways, the auto, um, auto create and the, the blank, they function very similar. And, uh, uh it's, I guess it's just your preference. If you want to start setting up uh, and not having to, um, you know, move around maybe, uh, rows or columns, whatever, depending on 
uh, when you do the auto create, it just does it for you and automatically does everything. Maybe you want to select a certain um, a way of putting the, uh, I guess, the dimensions in your own order, then probably blank would be better for you and a lot quicker.